I finished up book 5 of Legend of the Galactic Heroes a few weeks ago, so now it's time for my thoughts. Previously on Legend of the Galactic Heroes, Reinhard von Lohengrom finally launched his invasion of the Free Planets Alliance through the Fizan Corridor. In a gamble, Yang Wenli withdrew his forces from Isalon Fortress so he could free up his ships to harass Reinhard and ultimately draw the men himself out. This led to a climactic confrontation between the two in their first head-to-head -head confrontation. They had faced each other before, but each time it had been over retreat actions, and each time Yang had successfully gotten the FPA's navy out of harm's way, minimalizing casualties in the process. However, the battle led to a victory for Reinhard, not by knockout, but more by judge's decision. With the Isolon Corridor undefended, and reports coming in of Wen Li's success against Lohengram's forces, Hildegard von Meriendorf, Reinhard's secretary, who also is implied to have something of a crush on him, persuades Admiral Oskar von Royenthal to death send his forces on a dash to seize the Alliance capital of Hynesen. When Lee had taken out the planet's defense wing during the FPA Civil War, allowing Royenthal to force the Alliance High Command to agree to cease fire. Word arrives just in time to stop Wen Lee from finishing off Reinhard once and for all, forcing him to stand down his forces and surrender. That brings us to Book 5. Book 5 starts in a state of peacetime, but if you've been reading the series for the previous four novels, you know that's never going to last. In this case, the wrenches in the works are twofold, one external and one internal. Externally, the plotting of the Church of Terra is coming to a head as they attempt to take out Reinhard. On the inside, Admiral Overstein is... well, his paranoia is disrupting the current peace by trying to drive apart Reinhard and Hildegard, and by using the military occupation forces to either kill Yang, Wen Li, or force him to come out of his enforced and long-desired retirement. All that part of the book is generally great. Unfortunately, the book takes all the momentum that's been building over the past three books and stops it stone dead with an opening that drops a massive info dump covering Earth's fall from galactic relevance. The information is only tenuously useful and applicable to the overall plot of the book, so, it's, I still enjoy the story, but that's a really rough opening. That said, it's setting up the new status quo for the next leg of the conflict, so I'm interested in seeing how this turns out. I'm going to keep reading the next book, but again, this one's a bit of a rough start, and so that's something to keep in mind when you pick up the book. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. And also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks, also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.